I just thought you might like to see what's in the Julian family medicine cabinet. Since we're in the middle of the cold and flu season, I just wanna teach you what to have on hand so that you can start using it the minute you get sick. That's when all of this stuff is really effective. The first sign of illness, start using it. So first of all, we have a bottle of Orthomoleculars Orthomune, and this is a brilliant product. It's got five different things in it. So it's gonna save you pill count, it's gonna save you money. It's got vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, quercetin, and N-acetylcysteine. That's gonna help kill that virus, decrease inflammation, help to loosen up the snot. All right, oh, and, and the dosing. Two of these, four times a day. Another thing that you can add, and you can do, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do, so this is just um, one of my favorite go-tos. Also, there's an orthomolecular product called Viracid. It comes in these handy packets, although this is just a one-person size, so if you have a family, it also comes in bottles. And again, this is a bunch of different plants that help to kill viruses. And you start taking this along with the orthomune, and you take two of these every one to two hours at the first sign of illness until this pack is gone. And there's like, there's 12 capsules in this one. The other thing that you do is you start spraying your throat and your nose. So you can make some throat spray, just get you a one or two ounce um, little spray bottle. You are going to put 10 drops of biocidin. This is another one of my plant-based hacks that I love. There's 18 plants in this bottle and it's antifungal, it's antiviral, and it's antibacterial. This will kill strep, it'll kill every virus, and it'll kill a bunch of different funguses. So what you do, you put 10 drops of this Biocidin Advanced Liquid in your bottle, and then you fill the remainder with tap water. And then you are just spraying your throat literally every half hour while you're awake when you're ill. It's also great to do as a preventive. If I had kids in school, I'd be spraying their throat on the way out in the morning and on their way in at night. I always use this when I travel, especially airplane travel. I'm spraying before the flight, I'm spraying during the flight, and I'm spraying after the flight and maybe even the whole time I'm on vacation or gone wherever I am. Okay, and then we can make nose spray also out of this same biocidin. This biocidin can literally be put in many of our orifices. We use it for other infections that are below the neck as well. So just get a, um, you can do it a couple different ways. You can get some normal saline, nasal saline in the one ounce bottles. You can flick the top off, put 10 drops of this per one ounce of normal saline. You can get an empty nasal spray bottle. This is just a store-bought brand that I'd used and cleaned up. And you can't just put tap water up your sinuses. So you have to make some stuff. And I like this, this Neal Med um, comes in a box. This little packet will make eight ounces of nasal saline. And you have to use distilled water, or you can use just regular tap water that you've boiled and then cooled down, or you can use filtered water. The instructions are on here. So you're gonna put one ounce of that in your nasal spray bottle 10 drops of your biocidin, and then you're gonna spray it up your sinuses three to four times a day. Again, I'm doing it every time I travel for prevention. Okay, and then the other thing that we can do with this biocidin, we can nebulize it. So a nebulizer is basically just a little air compressor. You can buy it online, fairly cheap, less than $50. They used to be even less expensive before COVID happened, but you all know what happened there. So you can get one of these little deals, and then it usually comes with the tubing. It'll come with something that looks like this. Usually there's this little pipe, and then this container. So in this container, you would put five drops of this biocidin and then you would put three mLs of normal saline. Now the normal saline can also be bought from places like amazon.com. You can also get them at a pharmacy, but usually you need a prescription. These are little ampules, three mL ampules of nasal saline. You're gonna dump one of these in this container, five drops of your biocidin. You're gonna screw your lid back on, 
And if you're just wanting this to go to your lungs, so think about cough, think about bronchitis, and you're gonna turn on your little air compressor and a mist is gonna come out and you're gonna breathe this and you're gonna do this about four times a day. Now, if you also want to hit your sinuses at the same time, you're not gonna use the little pipe thing, you're gonna get a mask. And you can get a mask at a pharmacy. I'm told you can get it without a prescription. So you put the mask on this little contraption and you're just gonna put it over your nose and your mouth, so you're gonna hit your sinuses and you're gonna hit your lungs at the same time, about four times a day. Now I think sometimes there's a place for prescription medication and I think that most people should have some albuterol solution in their home. Albuterol is a medication, it's a bronchodilator, it helps that spasmy cough, the cough that you get when you're talking a lot or go out in the cold or have bronchitis. And so, this little packet here is albuterol. It is a prescription, so you're gonna to have to get that from your medical provider. If you're my patient and you've been seen within the last year, I'll be glad to prescribe that to have on hand. Um, albuterol can cause some jitteriness, but you can take this every four hours. Again, it's just a little ampule. You dump it in your deal here, and you can also put five drops of biocidin with that albuterol. Okay. Another hack that I really like, again, this is gonna take a prescription, although I know there's some places out there that people can buy from other countries and things, is ivermectin. Ivermectin is an age-old dewormer, anti-parasitic medication, but we found out during COVID <clears throat> that it's good for a whole bunch of different viruses. So again, I am taking my ivermectin with all my other potions at the first sign that I'm ill. Ivermectin is weight-based, Again, if you're my patient, you've been seen within the last year, I'd be glad to prescribe you some to have on hand. The other prescription that I think is very handy to have on hand, it's gonna save some sleepless nights, is something called Tessalon Pearls or Benzonitate. And it just helps that cough that's like that scratchy, um, sinus drainage, dry, tickly cough thing. Does not make you drowsy, you can take it three times a day. Okay, the other thing that sometimes people like to take, even though that orthomune has some vitamin D in it, sometimes people like to take bigger, <clears throat> excuse me, bigger doses of vitamin D. So I always have this vitamin D 50,000 pack on hand. It's got a blister pack. Each capsule is 50,000 units. And sometimes, because I follow a, an older doctor who is a huge believer in hitting it hard, hitting it strong, 100,000 units of vitamin D every day for three days. And while you're taking the orthomune, you can still keep taking your regular vitamin D dose. It's very difficult to overdose on vitamin D in the short term. Okay, so I think that's all. If you need further guidance, I would love to be able to help you. Call our office, make an appointment, talk to Lori. She can send you out the protocol. Thank you and have a great day.